to a city, prophesy and sleep with everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna get no assistance. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I, I think you might have brought me to the wrong place. Church. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You sure in the right 
one today. Because <laughs> I, I don't understand this. You know, we can raise up a generation, but can't raise our own children. Uh, uh, so I say to my boys, y'all need to be careful, be slow. You know, they got girlfriends. I allow them to have girlfriends. I said to them, one chance with somebody in the church. If that don't work, you can't date nobody else. Because I'm not raising Pentecostal playboys. There you go. <laughs> So you better be careful. I said to my young one, my youngest one called me. I said, you better be careful. Slow down. Because he had, you know, two or three. And I said, you better choose carefully. Because you got one time. One time. But then you have to find somebody somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't. Because you're not going to run through the church. Yeah. I wish the brothers would help me. I, I know y'all know. Y'all trying to act all deep tonight. Come on. Oh, we got to watch it. That we are not gendering spirits that we can control. Oh, what if Hophni and Phineas would have had the kind of daddy that made them sit down somewhere instead of running through the temple doing everything they wanted to do? We got to keep the gift in perspective. I said to the people, I can't come because my leader needs me. Why am I preaching everywhere? I preach. Because I was able to give up yes. before I was ready. Because yeah. Yeah. you can't be anointed but not ready. Yeah. Oh, you can be anointed. David gets three anointings in his life. He's anointed at Jesse's house. He was anointed, but he wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. Right. He wasn't ready for no throne. He wasn't ready for no crown. He wasn't ready for no robe. There are too many of us who are rushing. Trying to be something that God has not called us to be. Just because a few folk run after you, don't make you nobody's pastor. I feel like I'm walking in an apostolic anointing tonight. Oh, yo, just because you get a building and a few chairs and pay some light bill, don't make you no leader. Come on now. That's the problem with what's happening in the body of Christ. Bishop, I know you see it as you travel across this country, as you're trying to father men and women of God and literally lead them into greater relationships. Everybody wants to be in charge of something. Uh, Nobody wants to work with. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Nobody wants to work with. That's part of the trouble with the church. Man, I flow like I feel it in the spirit. Because that's part of our challenge. Everybody wants to be, the, you know, the chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we got more chief apostles. Yeah, yeah. And no Indians. <laughs> Just chiefs. <laughs> so everybody's a bishop. Everybody's an apostle. Everybody's, you know, in charge. Large and in charge. H-N-I-C. Head not in charge. And nobody wants to serve. Man. And that's part of the problem and part of the challenge, man of God, with even the folk we bring in our churches. Yeah, that's right. That's right. When you bring someone in your church, you bring them in to corroborate right. what you're doing. That's right. The Lord said to me years ago, in 1991, He said, Don't ever give the mic to somebody who has no respect for who you are. That's it. Because if they don't respect you, they'll wreck. People. And before you know it, you'll be in church on Sunday wondering where your members are. They're running behind that little prophet or that little evangelist you brought in who has no respect for all. The Shunammite woman. The Shunammite woman. This woman of Shunam. Respected order. I'm going to be at A flat when I need you. She respected order. And her respect for order brought the miracle to her house. She said to her husband, can, can I build a room? Will you give me what I need to build a room? And she puts him on top of hers, which means she says, I need a head. Uh, I'm going to help you with something. Jesus says this. Uh, Y'all help me. Birds have nests. Foxes have holes. But the son of man 